BossTac brand 4500 model roller mill undergoes final quality controls at BossTac Quality Control Laboratory, holding an international accreditation certificate. The BossTac brand 4500 model roller mill is placed on a flat and sturdy surface. The device operates at a voltage of 380 volts and a frequency of 50 Hz with grounded grid. The grounding of the laboratory where the device will be installed is measured. The grounding value should be less than or equal to 5 ohms. If not, a new grounding line is drawn. The device should only be operated by personnel familiar with its use, unauthorized individuals should not handle it. No flammable or combustible substances should be kept on or near the device. Unauthorized individuals or companies are not allowed to intervene in the device. In case of any issues, contact BossTac Technical Service. After the mentioned controls of the laboratory where the device will be installed are conducted, the power cable is plugged into a grounded socket with a voltage of 380 volts and a frequency of 50 Hz. Care should be taken to have dry hands during this process. The fuse box on the back of the device protects it from high voltage and current fluctuations. In case of any danger, pressing the emergency stop button on the device stops it. After the danger, the emergency stop button is released by turning it clockwise, and the device continues operating from where it left off. The device consists of two sections, crushing, kerma, and smooth, liso. In the crushing section, there are three grooved roller balls. In the smooth section, there are two smooth roller balls. In the crushing section, on the right side of the ball housing, there is a unit for cleaning the crushing section and a compression screw for the cleaning unit. During the compression of the roller balls, this screw is turned counterclockwise to remove the crushing unit cleaning window unit. After cleaning the space between the roller balls with a brush, the unit is placed back in position, and the compression screw is turned clockwise to compress. In the crushing section, on the left side of the ball housing, there is another unit for cleaning the crushing section and a compression screw for the cleaning unit. During the compression of the roller balls, this screw is turned counterclockwise to remove the crushing unit cleaning window unit. After cleaning the space between the roller balls with a brush, the unit is placed back in position, and the compression screw is turned clockwise to compress. In the smooth section, on the left side of the ball housing, there is a unit for cleaning the smooth section and a compression handle for the cleaning unit. During the compression of the roller balls, the handle is pulled to the right or left to release the unit. The unit is manually pulled down to open the cleaning area, the space between the roller balls is cleaned with a brush, and then the unit is lifted back up and placed in position. The unit is compressed using the handle. Since all adjustments of the BossTac brand 4500 mil are made in the accredited BossTac Quality Control Laboratory according to international standards, there is generally no need for the user to adjust the roller balls of the crushing and smooth sections. However, if the user wishes, adjustments specific to themselves can be made beyond international standards. For this purpose, in the smooth section, there is a tension arm balancing weight, a balancing arm connection rod, and a top distance adjustment nut. When this nut is turned counterclockwise by hand or with an open-end wrench, the crushing distance between the roller balls increases, resulting in coarser grinding. If the adjustment nut is turned clockwise, the crushing distance between the smooth roller balls decreases, resulting in finer grinding. The feeding adjustment button on the device allows for feeding adjustments in both the crushing and smooth sections. Furthermore, using the feeding adjustment button located in the LISO section, feed settings for the LISO section can be configured. Two motor on-off switches on the right for the crushing section and on the left for the smooth section. The on-off switch for the crushing section on the front of the device, when turned in one direction, operates the device in the direction indicated by the arrow on the sieving unit. If it does not work, the cable connections on the socket are changed. In case of product jamming, the on-off switch of the device is turned in both directions, and the jamming of the device is released.
After the danger, the emergency stop button is turned clockwise to release, and the device continues to operate from where it left off. When the on-off switch on the front side of the device is turned to position 1, the LISO section, located on the screening unit, operates in the direction indicated by the arrow. If it does not work, the connection cables on the socket are changed. In the case of product jamming in the device, the on-off switch is turned to position 2, releasing the device from the jam. Subsequently, the on-off switch is turned back to position 1, and the device continues its normal operation. BossTac brand 4500 model laboratory mill with double passage is used to determine the quality of the wheat stack to be used in flour production by grinding scabbed and scab-free wheat samples. The closest matching flour sample to the characteristics of the flour to be produced in the factory is obtained using the Batak brand 4500 model double passage laboratory mill. All analyses of physical, chemical, rheological, water lift, and energy graphs in the obtained flour samples can be reliably performed. For the milling process of wheat samples, to mill the product, the product is poured into the crushing section feeding hopper of the device, and the crushing section on-off switch on the front side of the device is turned in one direction to start the milling process. If necessary, the product flow rate can be adjusted again with the feeding adjustment button. After milling, the crushing section on-off switch is returned to the zero position, and the milling process is completed. Afterward, the crushing section is operated in reverse to clean the sieving unit, turning the crushing section on-off switch to position 2. All residues remaining in the sieving unit are ejected. The crushing section on-off switch is returned to the zero position, and the device is stopped, becoming ready for the next milling process. After the milling process, the wheat flour sample obtained from the crushing section accumulates in the crushing section flour collection drawer. The semolina obtained accumulates in the crushing section semolina collection drawer. The bran accumulates in the crushing section bran collection drawer. To mill the semolina obtained from the crushing section, it is poured into the feeding hopper of the smooth section of the device. The on-off switch of the smooth section on the front side of the device is turned in one direction to start the first milling process. If necessary, the product flow rate can be adjusted again with the feeding adjustment button. After the first milling process, the on-off switch of the smooth section is returned to the zero position. The fine bran leaving the sieving unit is again poured into the feeding hopper of the smooth section. The on-off switch of the smooth section is turned again in one direction to start the second milling process. After the milling process, the on-off switch of the smooth section is returned to the zero position, and thus, the milling process is completed. Subsequently, the on-off switch of the smooth section is turned to position 2 to clean the sieving unit of the smooth section. The device is operated in reverse, ejecting all residues remaining in the sieving unit. The on-off switch of the smooth section is returned to the zero position, and the device is stopped, becoming ready for the next milling process. After the milling process, the wheat flour sample obtained from the smooth section accumulates in the smooth section flour collection drawer. The fine bran, called bran, accumulates in the smooth section fine bran collection drawer. Thus, the milling process with the Boss Tap brand 4500 model roller mill is completed. The obtained flour samples from the smooth and crushing sections are mixed to prepare them for testing. Depending on the wheat variety and quality, the Boss Tap brand 4500 model roller mill can mill 550 to 650 grams of wheat samples per minute with a milling efficiency of 60% to 75%.